So our next inductee, we're doing the women first because we made a mistake several years ago. We inducted uh, Frida Zamba and she was last because her name began with a Z. And in those days, it took three and a half to four hours to run this thing that we're going to do in an hour and 15 minutes. But poor Frida sat up there and by the time we inducted her, there was 10 people out there in the audience. So we put the women first. But let's just say that this next person, who I have known since she began to surf, she surfed my home break in Palm Beach County Pump House. She and her brother Tony were mainstays. Pat Schultz, this is the way I know her, she is now Pat Schultz Wilcox. This is a woman who is consumed. Consumed. She lives, breathes, dreams, surfing. She doesn't want to talk about anything else. It's amazing that she's been married because she just wants to go surfing. I mean, how, <laughs> I know how tough it is for guys to have wives and girlfriends, but here's a girl that probably is worse than any of the guys. She is amazing. She would, she's surfing right now in her head. She's just an amazing kid that uh, I'm just happy to have known as she came up through the ranks. 1974, she moved to one of the worst surfing areas in the east coast of Florida, Lake Worth. The little locals are vicious, they're hungry, but she surfed for the Fox Surf Team, met her first husband and had a baby. And I always remember that the two of them would trade back and forth. They were allowed to go out for an hour. The other one's on the beach taking care of Amy. And then she would come in, Maury would paddle out. It was amazing. But surfing, these two never stopped surfing. Pat never gave up the idea that she wanted to paddle out. We have lots of great photos over here. You can follow along. Her accomplishments are just amazing. She was in the finals of every event she surfed from 1974 on until now. In 1975, she was fifth in the Girls' U.S. Championships in Hawaii, and she also got a trophy as the best judge. How's that? Giving back. <laughs> you know, she wasn't just content to compete. I, you know, judging, the, I, to me, when a competitor gets up there and judges, it's awesome. It's great giving back. 1977, she won her U.S. Championships, her proudest victory and also placed third in the ESA championships. Third in the ESA, but first in the U.S. championships, 1977. Shoot, look at this. This, this is recent. This is, is this in the Panhandle? Last spring. Last spring, where? Pensacola. Pensacola. You know, look at that, Pensacola. Who wants to go surf in Pensacola when it looks like that? I think I'll go up there. It says secret spot, okay. <laughs> oh boy, she won a deterred pro after a stellar amateur career and figured out, there ain't no dough going pro, especially for women in those days. Very tough even today. The, the women's tour has been cut, so the women have a tough road out there. And it's not because we don't like them. I certainly much prefer surfing with women than guys. Um, but there, you know, the money just isn't there, unfortunately. Um, she took a break from surfing uh, in contest until around 19, uh, what was it, 85. She got back in. What did she do? She starts making the finals again. She's still going. Joined back up with the ESA and received a life membership. How's that? They're not sucking money out of her wallet anymore. They gave her a lifetime membership in the ESA, so she can enter any contest she wants. And uh, let's see, what else have I got here? She was honored to actually participate in a superheat with a super kid named Kelly Slater. And that was one of the highlights of her surfing experience. She's got too many trophies. She doesn't know where to put them. She's not quite sure, you know, with all that hardware.
But today she's living up in Pensacola, as we see here, another recent photo of her. She's married to her husband, Greg. They're awesome people. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause. Pat Schultz Wilcox. where I get really nervous. Um, thank you all. I have a speech here. I wrote it a few minutes ago. Basically, it says, I'd rather be surfing. So, oh wait. It also says, thank you, everybody. Thank, I thank my family for putting up with me for all these years. If they didn't, I would have just went surfing anyway. So. <laughs> It wouldn't really matter. Um, I got a lot of friends out here, near and far, all around the world. Uh, I appreciate all of you. If you'll remember me, I'll come and visit you. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you know, um, wow. Uh, let's see, I'm supposed to say some other stuff. Wish I had some water. Come up here and talk some more. <laughs> That's my husband, Greg. He's got my back all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so Hunter mentioned my brother, Tony. He's the bomb. He was going to come out here, but he likes to be seen even less than me, so. He lives in Oregon now, and uh, I go out for my tropical vacations and surf out there with him. People go, why are you going to Oregon? Well, if any of you have ever been out there or can handle cold water or even care about it, you'll get some of the best waves you'll ever surf in your life. You can hide on the beach anywhere you want, and nobody bothers you. Only thing you have to worry about is the sharks. <laughs> but I've made it this far, so at this point, I don't really care. <laughs> if I get eaten by a shark, it's all good. <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> so, um, anyway, uh, I would like to thank all of you again for just coming and being here. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm on. It's great to be up here and have this job that with one of my, he's a, who I grew up surfing with. It's awesome to have Pat in the hallowed halls.